Hello, my name is Mike Post. I work with Traffic Products. We've been in the business for 35 years of supplying traffic signal and safety equipment to municipalities, states, and jurisdictions in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware. Uh, the reason I'm here today is we have some new technology that helps school districts and municipalities manage the school safety zones outside of school districts, the flashing lights and the speed limit signs that you see when children are arriving and departing from schools. Okay. <laughs> Historically, these school zones have been managed about once a year. The school district comes up with a program. It's given to the local municipality jurisdictions. Somebody goes out and by finger programs in through a keyboard the days that the schools operate, the times that the kids arrive and leave. Um, and it's never really changed again until the next school year. What that does though is during school delays and school cancellations leaves the school signals blinking or not blinking. When children arrive, for example, on a two hour delay, the schools blink early in the morning, no one's there, everyone's shoveling their cars out. Two hours later, school students start to arrive and the signals are dark because it thinks it's a regular day. Uh, quite often, they're blinking on holidays when no one's around, um, and they're blinking on cancellation days when no one's at school. So we're now able to program those two-hour delays. We're able to program the cancellations, um, and, and it makes it way, more, way safer, more proactive for the Officer Lee and uh, you know, the school district to have some say or input into when these signals go on and off. So it kind of turns it from sort of a, a neglected um, thing that was just mandated and put there to something that's way more proactive and way safer for children and, and school people arriving. <laughs>